my floss tube channel in case you accidentally clicked on the video and didn't want to watch floss tube. I'm a little discombobulated. My husband just called. So I need to hopefully make this quick so that I can take my van over to um, get the brakes replaced. So this is floss tube 68. I had to look down into my handy dandy little calendar because I couldn't remember. Um, I'm still in the thick of Halloween stitching, still. So it's October 27th, so I have a couple days left till Halloween, so I am trying to do all the things. So, yeah, my brakes are metal on metal. They went from being fine to making this horrible grinding, my rear brakes, um, horrible grinding sound. So I actually just got back from the doctor check out my shoulder. They did x-rays and then they gave me the number for PT. So we'll see. I don't know. But guess what? I mean, if you follow me on Instagram, you already saw this. However, Halloween cat, it's a finish. I finished it. And I did something a little bit different with the light in here. Like I shut off the one directly above me and I have that one on over there. So we'll see if this works out well or not. So, Halloween Cat was done with Sulky Threads, um, one over two, and it was done on Be Stitch Me Fabric, and the color is Anemone, and here it is. Ugh, that did not work out like I thought it was going to. There it is, and yeah, the light is a little bright, hold on. that better? I think that's better. So yeah, Halloween Cat is all done. And I love it. I love it. So I went yesterday and I bought a frame. Um, let me see if I can get this a little more square. I bought a frame, but I didn't have a chance to put it in yet because, um, Look at it. Oh, it's so fancy. Uh, I didn't have a chance to put it in yet because we've been so busy. So hopefully I will get it framed tonight, but I'll show you guys next week because I'll definitely get it done this weekend. Um, my color conversion is on my YouTube channel under the community tab. So if you go to my regular YouTube channel where all my videos are, click on the community tab and it's the last post. And it will have my sulky conversion on it. So there it is. I know it's still a little bit bright, but um, I love it. I love it. And the purple is actually just a hair darker than this because the white shows up a lot better. So um, eh, my lighting's just not great. That's okay. All right. So that is a finish. Finished. Let's go through my whips real quick. So this is Witchy Dreams by Barbara Anna. And hopefully you're seeing a completed picture of it. Last week, I couldn't find one yet um, because all my chart still shows the, um, like the blurred out. So you're either seeing a blurred out or a finished because all the parts have released now. So this is on a 32 count Lugana Through the Stones by Be Stitch Me. Oh, by the way, there's where I was last week. So yes, quite a bit more stitching done. I love her. I cannot wait for this to be completely done. So I've been working on that a lot, a lot using all the called for DMC. Then, uh, I worked on mini Autumn Cat Magic. Oh, and I have a thread that I forgot to clip. <laughs> Hold on. There we go. Uh, this is what mini Autumn Cat Magic looks like. From Heaven and Earth Designs, I'm doing this on a 25 count easy grid. There's what it looked like last time. And I'm just going to show you this side first. So 
So there you go. There's where it is right now. I feel like that light is still too bright. There, how's that? That's better. So yeah, again, working in over here, um, a lot of like just little bits of color. Not a ton of stitching, but I did get some done. Then, I don't know if I just hit that or not. I put the cover on it that I made to keep all the pet hair off. All right, and I did some more work on Scary Things October Brings by Silver Creek Sampler. And I did a conversion for this one too. Um, just what I had in stash. And this is on just a gray, I think it's 16 count Ada that I writ dyed. So there's where it was before. So I got the bats and then flying bats done and the inside of the cat. That's it. I worked on that um, just one night, I think. Yeah, it was just one night. So I may work on that tonight. We'll see. Or it may just follow me into 2022. Okay. Then the last thing I worked on, this is Barbara Anna Spellville. And this is on a 32 count. Not another sampler from Be Stitch Me. It's a Lugana. So here's where it was last time. There's where we are now. So I got quite a bit more stitching in. And this is so easy. It's only three colors. I just love it. I love it. This one will probably follow me into 2022 as well. We'll see. So those are my whips. I didn't do any knitting. I didn't do any sewing. I did not weave in my ends like I said I was going to. Um, I did get some stuff in the mail. I got the series from Hands on Design. This is Irony. Loads of fun. And the never ending cycle. And then I got some white um, Lugana to go with it. So I know I'm gonna change the colors up a little bit. I'm just not sure exactly what I'm gonna do yet. Um, but I'm going to put these down once we get our laundry room done. And I'm sorry, you can probably hear my washer. I apologize. I did get my classic color works from Three Owl Threads. I'm not going to go through all the names, but we're in the P's. Oh, wait. I got an L in there. P, Q, and R. But I also got an L. I got licorice red in here. So, hello. So, fun colors. I think I've made it through the alphabet now. I'm not for sure. I need to check that out. But I think I might have made it through. Um, I got my tagged Sweetwater label. Very fall. back in there. Ugh, my shoulder is killing me. <laughs> I'm telling you, this is going to be a short video. I'm just waiting for my husband to call again and be like, hey, I'm on the way over to Novak's. Uh, I got two quilt patterns from Thimble Blossoms. There's the, well, there's the first one. This one's called Joyful. And this one is Lucky Day. So... I love Thimble Blossoms patterns. They're uh, Camille Ross Kelly from Bonnie and Camille Fabric Designers. These are hers. If you do not want to see the October Sew Sampler box, 
fast forward. So this one is called Dream Big. And in it, we received this little magic, whoa, magic seam wand. So it's like a little wooden, um, kind of like a clapper, but you would iron and then just push it on your seams and it helps cool it off and set your seams. This is, the dogs are running around. This fabric is really pretty. It is Whimsical Romance. I can't see, hold on. Let me see who the designer is. Um, Kira Job, or Job, I'm not sure, for Riley Blake. So it's Mon Cherry Whimsical Romance. It's really pretty. Uh, the, where did it go? Where's the quilt? Oh, they don't really show it very well, but that is the um, quilt pattern. I'm not going to do that. Oh, I guess I could probably show it right here too. So I'm not going to do that one, but I will use that stacker for something. We got a one and a half by six and a half creative grids ruler and a mini color wheel. I've never used a color wheel for sewing stuff, but you know. And then we got the next block for the bright side quilt along. So I got to put that in my little binder. I apologize if you can hear the dogs right now. They are running like crazy dogs. Crazy dogs. the rest of the trick or treat box from Black Needle Society. Um, this was the Halloween, the thing to open on Halloween. It's a scissor fob and a bookmark and it comes with all of the stuff. Then there was a gigantic bag. And my cat is chewing on plastic now. Um, it's a gigantic tote bag, like vinyl tote bag. Then there was this I'm keeping and I will stitch. Silver Creek Samplers. Flying lesson. Absolutely, 100% keeping that. We got this. Now, Steph eats her ice cream out of a mug from Pam and Steph. She would not enjoy the serving size in this mug. It's little. I think it's like maybe eight ounces. It's so cute though. It's got like all the best stuff on it. But it's tiny and apparently you cannot put it in the dishwasher. Somebody has already made that mistake. I like this little box, this little coffin. It has these cat scissors. I actually already have these. I got them probably 10 years ago or more from Knit Picks. They come with a little zipper pouch. So now I have two pairs. And these are really heavy and very, very, very pointy. Like... You can hurt somebody. And then we got the silks. There we go. Move my fingers out of the way. Trainway silks from Lakewood, Colorado. It's the Penny Dreadful collection. Goes back in there, the cats will take them. Um, I think this one had DMC again. Yep, DMC. I do like this needle minder. There we go. So that one is on the keep list, 
And then there's some fabric in here. This one was fiber on a whim and hazelwood. Fairly accurate. It is a fat eighth of 18 count Ada. And I assume that's what that goes with. So yes, I will be keeping that. Then we got this fabric. Well, that's really bright. There we go. It is Crimson Peak by Jody from the Steel City Scissors. It's a 32 count Lugana. So I will keep that fabric. I don't know what I'll put on it, but. And then we got um, Cookie Mix. So in here is everything you need except for butter and egg to make cookies. So, so that's it. That's all of it. Um, if you saw my last video, you know that I was not impressed with uh, this box. The FOMO got me. I was worried that it was going to be amazing and everyone was going to get it and I was going to miss out and... So the, I think some of this stuff I'm going to put up for D stash on my Willow Spring Co account. And then, um, some of it is going to be giveaways. I don't have time to do giveaways today because my husband is going to be calling me any second being like, Hey, I'm headed over to Novak's. But, um, yeah. So it looks like we're going to be sharing a car till tomorrow night. Or this weekend. I don't know yet. So anyway, that's all I have for this week. Um, I did want to mention both giveaways got sent out. Uh, shipping has increased drastically. I'm sure you've heard this from a lot of people. Um, I don't want to have to limit my giveaways to U.S. only. But yowzers. Um, I sent something off to the U.K., and it was not inexpensive. So I do have a buy me a coffee link. Um, and then there's a link in my link tree for I any money that I get from that goes straight to shipping as of right now. I haven't purchased any like stitchy stuff. It's all been shipping for giveaways. So I'm going to continue to do giveaways. I just, I really hope I don't have to limit it to the U.S. Um, but we'll see. Some of the smaller stuff I might be able to get away with. Uh, the one for the UK, I was able to send media mail, so it was not as bad as it would have been. And I didn't have to fill out a customs form. So um, media mail is paperwork. But it was a magazine, so I said it was paperwork. Um, but yeah, that's about it. Um, Halloween's this weekend. My kids' costumes are not here yet. And they actually have trick-or-treating after swim tomorrow. So we're either going to be going and buying them costumes tonight or um, their costumes will come in the mail tomorrow. I don't know. I haven't gotten any mail back yet. So yay. So all right. That's all I have for this week. I am going to go get my van over to Novak's and um, hopefully do some stitching tonight. So I will see you guys next week. It will be November. It'll be November next week. What? What? Everyone have a great and safe Halloween. Bye.